it's uh, possible to import your version 5 uh, projects to uh, version 6. The coverage is uh, dependent on the application's complexity and which functionality that uh, was used. Uh, you can say in general all graphics, tags, alarms, text and multi-language is converted. However, some functions is quite uh, different when you compare version 5 and 6, for example recipes. Those functions are excluded and not imported. There is a conversion log that contains information about which functionality that was not possible to convert. So as a user or developer you can use this list as an actual list to define which uh, objects or functions that needs to be manually configured. So now we will uh, open um, the programming software and um, we will actually import an existing project. So in order to do that, I click on the import project button. I need to browse and select uh, my uh, application. So I select, in this case, I navigate to the folder where the application is stored, select it. Uh, then I need to define which panel I would like to convert this application to. In this case I select PP877. Finally I need to decide where the project should be stored as well as giving it a name. So, And finally you click on finish. The tool will now um, convert screens uh, elements, etc. As you can see, uh, if there's a red icon, that uh, indicates that a function does not exist in the new software. Uh, the yellow indicators tells you it's more like a warning. You need to review uh, that object or that function. Um, it's possible to save this file to your hard drive and review it later on. When I click on OK, the conversion process is uh, ended and I can review the converted application. Uh, as I mentioned, objects, graphics, uh, text, etc. Uh, are uh, converted and also uh, actions. For example, on a login button, you would notice that it has a login action also in the new software. So if I want to test my application, I can select project, run, which will start a simulation session. And then I can jump between the different screens and make sure that it executes as expected. Um, when I click on the different buttons, you will see uh, the different uh, functions that uh, executes and so on. Um, so that's um, how you uh, convert an existing application.